Welcome everybody. Uh, this will be a talk about uh, an opportunity to uh, to have a, a new OWAS project. Uh, first of all, uh, I'm Luis Saez. I'm, I'm heading the Innovation and Security uh, group in the BBVA Labs. BBVA is a Spanish bank. We have a, we already have some work that we have open sourced. You can, if you uh, search or, um, um, GitHub and BBVA, or if you can uh, follow that link. Okay. Let's start with uh, something very, very basic that is, uh, which are requirements, uh, which are controls. That's something that uh, in, in the literature of uh, security, we always uh, will encounter. And we have uh, a lot of uh, controls, uh, a lot of standards, writing a long list of controls. Um, we must take into account that also we have some uh, common controls uh, in, in our projects, in our companies. And uh, there is uh, also common controls that we need to uh, test and need to know how it is how it's the 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 current status of each control. So, first question: How how many of you think your organization keep control status information current? How many? One. Okay, I think you are right. This is very optimistic. Uh, I think that uh, we really don't know what we have in in our productions. So let's start with uh, some basics. What is the the current status of what is the the state of the art uh, in the security in in the CI/CD pipelines? First, we have static, dynamic, interactive. Don't know which will be the, the next buzzword. Application security testing. So we test against our, our code. We also have software composition analysis, testing our dependencies, which is other, which are the vulnerabilities in our in our dependencies. We have a, a new tool that is we can test uh, the security of, of the containers because once you have built the container uh, and tested it, you know the status of that of that container, so it's pretty good. The problem is when you have three different uh, uh, tools to test. Uh, and 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 you uh, have a lot of vulnerabilities to to manage. You need some vulnerability correlation tool. Also, if you are advanced and uh, if you have a lot of projects, maybe you will need some security requirements and threat management tool. And some of us sometimes we have also abuse story checks. Okay, that's the that's the hype uh, cycle from from Garner, and this is the tools we have presented. And this one uh, was the uh, a category called Application Security Testing Orchestration (ASTO) that tries to combine all of these uh, tools and uh, Orchestrate and automate the the results. Okay, but which are the gaps? We are checking the application and now the containers too, but uh, we think that this is not enough. Uh, DevOps practices and software define everything, allow us to automate the building. Of, of the of our complete infrastructure. So as 
as the flight checklist, uh, we have a lot of complex and automated uh, environment. We also have some manual check-in that uh, you need to check the engines, uh, and, and you need to check the engines, uh, whatever you are flying, and uh, seven, <laughs> four, seven, or a small Cessna. So which, let's see which are these checklists. We have a pre-flight checklist that it's like our build time. So before launch to the production, before fly, you need to pass some checks. And during the flight, you also have some checks that will be our runtime checks. Pilots also have a quick reference handbook in case of an incident. This is something like our um, playbooks in, uh, in SOIR uh, tools, the, the automation and, uh, of, our, of our response on security incidents. So let's see if we can borrow something from the testing practices uh, in, in software development. When, when we do feature testing, uh, one of the things that uh, uh, it's, uh, it's good is a simple test can be safely extrapolated. So if you have uh, a feature uh, that uh, test something like uh, a balance with 1,000 euros, you make a test about that specific uh, figure, and if it's pass, it's okay, and you don't need to test if the same uh, test will apply to 200, 500, or whatever. But feature testing, is business dependent and it's difficult to reuse. So in that example, the amount, the, the feature of uh, related with the amount is easy to, to extrapolate, but the specific fields used are related to your business application. So it's difficult, the same test uh, being used to uh, in another project or in another company. So let's see uh, how this apply, how this map with uh, security control testing. We have we face a complexity in in security testing. It's that we have two different problems. We have an all or nothing problem and orch an orchestration problem. Stop here a moment about what is the problem with intentional risk. An intentional risk, uh, the, ta the attacker uh, will see which are the controls you have in place. So if there, if you left one of these windows without fence, the attacker will attack that specific window. So you need to test, you need to see if you have all your windows covered with a control. So this is the problem of security. We need to test all of or none of condition. You need to test all of my machines, all my users, none of my users. You need to test something among different uh, places. <laughs> this is an example of Maruzinovich that they, they have just uh, mm, deployed and oops, <laughs> deploy and uh, new features in Sysmon and he talks about any of and all of filters. The other problem is orchestration. We need to pipeline and orchestrate 
the output of different tools as inputs of other tools. If you need to test something among different servers, you need to first to make a list of the servers and then apply something to the server, maybe look for that specific type of file and then test something about that specific file. So you, you need a, some recursion here. And you need to orchestrate also the existing, uh, existing tools, whether they are commercial ones or small, small uh, command line. And this is the big problem. The problem is that we, the, the best practices, uh, ask you for four different, four or five different testing methods. But there are a lot of small control testing that must be do, must be done. It's difficult because when you see the long tail of controls that you need to test, you have a long list of best, of a checklist of uh, we have different standards and none of them have less than one two hundred of uh, of controls. Sometimes to test that control, you will need more than one test. So this is expanding. You need to you need to test hundreds and hundreds. You need to have hundreds and hundreds of different tests. And when you see the long tail, uh, the usual uh, the usual reaction is okay. Let's forget it. I have the best practices in the industry because the cost of development and the cost of maintenance of that test will be overwhelming for you. But good news, standardized security controls is easier than feature controls. Security controls are very similar from project to project and from uh, <laughs> company to company. We need talk about, uh, about uh, common controls. Controls are very similar. We have even industry standards. And this can be done. This is on our all known uh, SNORT IDS. You have rules, you have a tool, and you have rules maintained by the community, maintained by uh, some companies that uh, create some of the some of the rules, but this is one example. You have also, yeah, sorry, it's very small, uh, and I can I can even see what is the the this one. I think this is a, this is a Jara rule. I think from Florian Roth. You have Jara rules. And there is a lot of people working on, on Jara rules. There are a lot of companies contributing on Jara rules. There are a lot of tools around it. We also have some OWAS uh, projects like Mod Security. We have rules. We have Sigma for SAM uh, response. Sigma is for log files, what Snort is for network traffic, and Jara is for files. So we are proposing Susta. And Susta will be for security control testing. What Sigma is for log files, what Snore is for network traffic, and Yara is for files. 
So why I, we are proposing SUSTO? This is a new category. Uh, we want to extend the concept of ASTO because we think that first you need to be systematic. You need to cover the long tail and not just for uh, tools. And we think that it should be universal. We need to cover the full stack, not just the application, because we have the opportunity now. We, we have a lot of uh, our infrastructure is defined using APIs, and you can check the exact uh, configuration of, of the APIs, and we have also tools to check the configuration of, of, of the systems. Sometimes you have uh, uh, configuration in uh, doing in with uh, that you can check with uh, command line. And we are also working on uh, uh, how to uh, appify uh, command, command line interfaces. We have an, a tool uh, that we are developing to do this because we have seen that we will need it to cover this. And let's deep dive with which is the the different uh, uh, parameterization of of the control testing. First, we start with risk. We have controls for that risk. We have lots of uh, list of controls. And we, uh, when we do threat modeling or risk analysis, we assess the risk and we declare what uh, should be the controls for, th for that risk, to cover that risk. But that control, it's like a class. It's a generic control. You can test a declared control you have the description of the control. But to launch a test, you need to know which instance of that control to test. So controls are instantiated in running controls. So you deploy a control in a target, in a final system. For the Control classes for you can have a class of test that you parameterize, uh, use, uh, put in your desired goal. So you have two different kinds of parameterization. One is which is the target, the other one is which is your desired goal. And we have, when you have both, you can launch the test. So, which will be the, the, the main features of, uh, of SUSTO? Uh, first, tests should be generic in, in their objectives. You need to, to know, uh, what do you want to test? But this should be configurable in their in their instantation. Instantation, you need to you need to know which is the target instance against which system you will test, and you need to put which is your desired goal, being boolean or being a score. Maybe if you are using commercial tool, the tool will. Uh, uh, send you which is the uh, final score of your system, or if uh, if if you are testing against vulnerabilities, you have uh, the the score of that vulnerability, and you need to assess which is your minimum, which is your which is your passing uh, score. You should facilitate the integration with existing tools because you will need uh, intermediate tools to obtain information. And you need to be able to launch the execution of specific test. 
manual intervention uh, should be minimized. The, 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 the final objective is to automate, but we know that sometimes uh, human intervention will be required. That's okay. But it should be minimized. And it's very important to uh, have uh, an architecture that don't introduce new threats. Because sometimes uh, if you want to test something, you need access. You, you need access and, and then your, your testing uh, becomes a, a critical path to your, to your production system. So beware. Sometimes uh, one of, uh, one of the, our more recent projects, uh, we have no access to production at all. Not even to test the 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 vulnerabilities of the system we test in the deploying pipeline you fix your version you deploy and nobody access so we need to convince our audit department that the 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 test that we did in the deployment phase are valid for our, our production uh, systems because we don't change. It's an immutable infrastructure. So if you test it in your deployment, this is the same you have in the in the production. Okay, and let's see for example, uh, which could be an, an example of, of uh, uh, rigs, control, and, and, and test. Uh, there are lots of uh, different standards that uh, ask you for encryption in the uh, communication channel. And one of the most typical uh, control to use is use TLS. Okay. So we will have a target that will be, which is the URL that we will uh, uh, launch the tens against. And the other one is, which is the minimum version of TLS that we allow. Maybe you have some regular uh, project and it's enough to have TLS, but maybe you need to comply with uh, with um, PCI and you need uh, TLS 1.2, 1.3. So that's a common test against a control. And you have two different parameters. And you will obtain some results that will be okay or not okay, and the details uh, if you need uh, if you need to uh, uh, test against the the version number, for example, on and you need to log the result of the of the testing. Okay, so to to cover. Uh, that new category that uh, uh, we are proposing, we have started uh, a, an internal project, but an internal project that will be uh, open, open sourced, and we want to uh, start an OWASP project for them. Uh, if there is enough consensus that it is, this is something that is uh, um, required or it will be useful for us, for all of us. And we have started the definition of uh, a tool that is called Overlord. And how the, the uh, architecture of, of that tool will be, we will uh, have rules that are able to retrieve intermediate information using existing or um, for developing uh, new tools, rules to check 
against the results and with different tools that could be existing application security tools. Security testing tools, not for application, but for system, system securities. And ad hoc scripts that we and you uh, can write. We will need to uh, manage the the configuration of that uh, of that rules, uh, uh, and the, and we need to put the context uh, to that rules in order to uh, launch the tools with our specific parameters, both targets and uh, desired goals. One of the questions that uh, we had uh, when we first talk about this is, uh, we will, will you put inside that tool uh, information about the risk and how risks and controls are related? Mm. We want to have a clean uh, tool. We think that uh, the risk management should be done in another layer. Risk management uh, is important. Mm, I mean, uh, a risk man management tool is important if you need to manage different projects, lots of projects, and you have common controls. If you have these two, uh, uh, if you have both uh, security, uh, common security controls and a lot of different uh, projects, uh, you will profit for uh, having uh, a tool uh, to manage all of these uh, relationships. But if you are small, maybe you just put your list of uh, tests against, uh, against your controls. So, and which are the stakeholders that we see in this in this kind of uh, category and this kind of uh, uh, um, security tool. First, the the cloud service providers or uh, or the uh, everything as a service uh, providers, because now they are uh, providing list uh, of best practices. Uh, well architected uh, or whatever, but they can. They, we think that uh, they will be able to offer the specific test against your deployment and have not only the wording but the code to test. Security vendors, we think that existing security vendors uh, can be very interested in on, on this category. First, the application security requirements and threat management, because they need, they, they, are, they, they have the list of the projects, the risk, and the controls, our class controls, con or control class, classes. But they need to test, and and it's difficult to for them to have all of that test. So they can use a, a tool like this in order to cover the full cycle. Also, governance and risk com and compliance tools that is similar to the, uh, the first one, but they have they are even. Sometimes some either uh, in, in a higher uh, position. The 16 security tools, our best pra current best practice uh, tools like uh, static analysis, dynamic analysis, software composition, uh, and uh, correlation. So the, because they are build time checking tools. So they are covering one part of the tool they are covering, uh, they are checking tools in the build time. 
also the uh, security uh, orchestration and uh, oh, I don't remember exactly the uh, the SOR. This is the response uh, orchestration because they are runtime response automation tools. So they have an opportunity. Uh, they know how to automate. Uh, our the misto or similar the misto tools similar uh, they have an opportunity to cover also the automation in the build time there is an obvious startup opportunity if if there is a gap there is a need in the industry we have checked with some of our uh, uh, some of our colleagues in other in other uh, companies, and maybe there is an opportunity for startups. We want to start this as a, a spark in the in the market. This should be bootstrapping in some way. Because everybody is happy in the current situation, even within that all of us see that we can do better. But everybody is comfortable now. It's like a, a, a game uh, in, the, the, in a game that everybody is it's happy, nobody will change it's from using game theory. And anyway, if nobody started, uh, your organization will be uh, uh, and a stakeholder of of this project. Which will be the next steps? Okay, we need feedback, and we need contribution. Uh, we want to promote this as a NOWAS project. Sometimes uh, one of the difficulties, for example, is uh, if I start a GitHub project uh, under BBVA, uh, my colleagues in Santander that are interested, it's uh, difficult for them to uh, to be in the BBVA side. So maybe uh, this is something that could be a, a neutral uh, space to, to, to collaborate. Uh, we will, uh, we are starting now, uh, both in BBVA and, and with uh, Santander, Naxa, uh, the roadmap of the tool, which will be the features that we will need. We need to uh, start a proof of concept of uh, Overlord as an OWASP SUSTO tool. We need to develop plugins to existing tools. Uh, we need to map standard uh, control sets to rules. Uh, we need contribution of community rules and we will need to uh, we will be happy that uh, uh, cloud service providers or vendors contribute with their own uh, curated uh, rules. Also, Susto for it, it has a meaning inside it. Susto is the Spanish word for fright. That's the reason of the ghost. And there is a small child joke that is dead of fright. Okay, fright. Boo. Oh, how oh, frightening. Well, you could have chosen death. So, don't fear the long tail. You better choose Susto. And that's all for my part. Thank you, everybody. And we definitely have some time for questions. So if anybody wants to ask a question, I've got a microphone to help out.
wait. Sorry. No worries, man. Uh, first, uh, it's a nice idea, and thank you for your presentation. Uh, do you? My, my question is: Do you have anything published already? Uh, is there anything on GitHub or something? No, not now. Our intention is to work on it in 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 this quarter. Uh, and have something published. We will publish the the, the presentation. Uh, we have just start to uh, see which are the 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 side features of the tool. But we need to we want to to test <laughs> as uh, like an agile project. I mean, we don't have the truth. We need to to test. So we will start. Uh, with, uh, 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 I mean, a mailing list, a community, or a Slack channel, or whatever, uh, we will, st we need to see, uh, which is the best repository to, to a start, uh, under BBVA, under OWASP, depending, maybe it depends of the timing. Uh, it's easy for us to start one project, uh, behind our, our, uh, GitHub account, but, uh, we are starting. We are starting now. Thank you very much. Yes, I was saying that you, you covered a lot of things. You mentioned full stack versus application security test and orchestration. Um, you mentioned rules, some of the standards that exist. And maybe, let's say, two, three sentences, what will be the output of the OS project? The output should be the tool to be able to launch and orchestrate the, the, the results and the rules contributed by the community. So in, in OWAS, we have, we already have some projects that have both, uh, tool, uh, like mod security and, and, and the common rule set. This is something that it, you can contribute with the code. You can contribute with the, I mean, with the core of the, of the core, with the different plugins, uh, with development of a small, uh, test and with the rules. So there are opportunities for everybody to contribute. And, and we think that as the main problem is the number of, uh, of, uh, test that will be needed, uh, we need a community effort. And, and, and this is the, uh, if, if we are able to, to, to start, uh, the, the, this, the, this community, uh, then it will, it will run by, by itself. Okay. So I don't hug the mic. A quick one will be, how do you define, well, what is full stack versus application? I mean, not only the code of the application. Imagine AM. I mean, check your LDAP or check your, uh, the configuration of, uh, of your, uh, um, AWS account. I mean, it's, it's, uh, two factor authentication. Uh, uh, establish or not have is that specific kind of login on or off it's you have a lot of uh, a lot of uh, if you take a control uh, you you need to have a tool to test if that control is is okay or not and, and you can do it manually i mean but at the end if we are able to automate, uh, everything will be uh, uh, smooth. I mean, for example, one of the things that uh, we want to do is ask our pen testing ethical hacking uh, project uh, to select the five, ten most critical vulnerabilities and make a rule to test if that specific vulnerability is present or no. Because how many of you have seen vulnerabilities that has been detected, has been fixed, and 
months later appears again. If you know exactly which is the vulnerability, please automate the test. In these cases, most, most of that cases will be specific to you. So it will be rules that are internal rules for you. But imagine that, that there is a common rule that could be shared with the community. Okay, you have the opportunity to share the, that rule. Thanks, Luis. So security tools or security testing tools are or were not really known for having good interfaces to trigger, well, to trigger scans and uh, leverage automation. Uh, what what are your, what, which is a prerequisite, right, for this tool? What yeah. are your observations over the last couple of years? Yeah. Has that improved? We, we need some uh, plugins to, to do the work with uh, mostly for existing commercial tools that th this is something to develop. Uh, API uh, controls, uh, API, controls that are defined uh, APIs will be easy to, to check. And one of the difficulties that uh, we, we, we have seen is that there are lots of small command line uh, tools to be launched. That's the reason we have started that. This is a, an open source project that is called Capo uh, that tries to uh, appify existing command, uh, command line interfaces. So if you have a command line, uh, uh, you have an API with a very small effort. And, and that's the, the, the way we think that it could be solved that, uh, that problem that, uh, obviously there are a lot of small tools that are existing, 16 small tools that, uh, don't have, they are historical and don't have a, an API. So you can check the, you can check the, the project. The project is already, uh, open source. We have, uh, uh, first proof of concept in Python, and we are now migrating to to Go uh, in order to don't depend of the specific uh, uh, runtime environment. Okay, thank you. So I think we need to wrap up and get ready for the next presentation. Thanks, Luis. Uh, she's probably around <laughs> for more questions. <laughs>